once had an illustrious amateur career winning two national titles, but now he wants to make waves in the professional game. With the professionals, uh, I want to go all the way. A multiple world champion at multiple weights, you know. Ever since I started amateur boxing, I always had dreams of becoming a world champion. And I love belts, so I want to collect them all. Strap season, so yeah, we're going all the way. Derek, I like, I like his, the way he thinks. I like his, um, the way he trains. He puts everything into it. He's not, he don't just come and be lazy. He puts everything into it, and I like that, you know what I mean? He can go far. Derek's always willing to learn, and that's what we're getting there. He doesn't just dodge punches. He's known as the punching preacher, and it's because he's also an ordained minister. The question I always get is that, oh, um, you know, you are a Christian, you believe in God, but you go in the ring and you fight people. But just like any other sport, boxing's a martial art, you know. At the end of the day, you don't go out there to hurt anyone. It's to hit and not be hit, you know what I mean? And I feel like without God, I wouldn't be boxing, you know. So I feel like God keeps me grounded and I feel like he led me to boxing because he really changed my life. So I feel like I owe a lot to God through boxing. So I feel like it's me and God, you know. Our own little personal thing. You got two wins so far, no losses. Ahead of this fight at Harvey Haddon, what can we expect to see? I'm looking forward to getting on the Harvey Haddon show, you know. There's been a lot of great historic Nottingham shows that was there. And um, I just can't wait, you know. My first two fights have been great learning fights. Um, so it's just picking up stuff, you know, and going back to the gym and working on it. So what you can expect to see from me is a lot more skill and a lot more power. Born in London, Nottingham's Derrick's adopted home. And the boxing scene played a big part in keeping him away from the temptations of the big smoke. I started boxing when I was 15, when I was in secondary school, but I didn't actually have my first amateur fight until I came to Nottingham University, because I was in and out of boxing throughout college, and it's really hard to balance it with education. So for me, when I came to Nottingham, I'd say boxing played a big part in me staying here, because it was not so much the facilities, but it's the people I met. You know, I feel like I've got a great team here, it's a great setup. I've got great coaches in Barrington Brown, the former professional boxer, AK Dan, and Mark Howell. So, I just feel blessed to be around the circle that I'm in. So it just makes not being not in the next special. On a card packed with local talent, Asaze will be in good fighting company. Alongside more established boxers Echo Esselman and Nathan Kirk, this will be his chance to make his name heard in the sport. Jake Meskell for Knox TV.